Hebrews 6.10, and this was printed on the center of it. Their name was emboldened on it. This certificate of appreciation is presented to this person, and underneath it was this statement. For God is not unjust to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown toward his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. God is, at this season, sending out encouragement and appreciation. Wherever you are, beloved, whatever you've been doing for the Lord, it is wonderful, and it is noted by God, and he remembers it. He remembers it. Keep up the work. Keep up the fight. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. And so I handed out these certificates of appreciation. Presented on this 18th day of March of 2017. Hallelujah. And it was presented by and signed by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I handed that out in a sealed envelope. <laughs> And I had them all open it up. Let me tell you something, beloved. My church is some of the most abused people in the world. My ministers, my prophets are some of the most abused and tormented people on the face of the earth. Even as they abuse them in the Old Testament, they abuse them in the New Testament. And they wonder and they question time and time again if they're following the right voice or they're following in the right path. But I am showing them in this season that I am demonstrating to you a love that I have for my ministers, just like the love that I had for Peter when I restored him and told him to tend to my sheep. I knew they would be difficult. I knew they would be challenging. It was not an easy task that I made him a shepherd. But I know that love is what I anchored in him to restore him in that love that he has for me. And it's not just a one-way love. It's a love that God has for his shepherds. Whatever you have been doing for the Lord, in whatever capacity, know that God appreciates everything. It is never, never, never in vain, Pastor Amy. Amen. Never in vain. Never believe the lie of the devil and his twistedness. He hates you. He's hated you when you were a little girl, and he hates you even now. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he hates your children too, but you let God work that out. Hallelujah. Because God gave me a dream last night, and there's something good coming. Um, there's there's going to be a turnaround in your son's life. Hallelujah. God showed me that. There's a turnaround coming. Hallelujah. That he's got to find his place. Hallelujah. I told you there's an anointing in this house. So there was this appreciation that I gave out. And then I had them split into two groups. We had eight all together. So four on one side, four on the other side. And I said, what we're going to do is we're going to lay hands on one another. And that's all we did. We took a few minutes at the end to lay hands on one another to prophesy or release or pray over that person. So three people would be praying over you, and then you take turns, and we do that. Well, my goodness, this minister that I sat beside, oh my goodness, he, he, he started talking about that God has granted me York. Mm. And he started, he doesn't even know about my dream. <clears throat> the dream of the tsunami wave, mm -hmm. right? Remember that dream of the tsunami wave? Yeah that uh, it just suddenly swept in at dusk, and if I thought it was going to drown me, I would run, and I turned tail to run, I was on the beach, and uh, it, it swept me up like a surfer, and carried me, I never understood this, it carried me in to the city at night, you remember that? Yeah. And I said, and I was in the middle of the city, and I saw the water rush down the streets, mm -hmm. and go into the drains, amen? Well, this minister who's laying hands on me does not know about my dream. This is powerful, beloved. And he says to me that God, it's a, it's a birthplace over here, and God has given you and the ministry uh, an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that's going to happen here in York. York is significant, he said. And he said this outpouring that God is going to release 
is going to wash into the city down the streets and wash the filth away Amen. that's been Amen. hovering Amen. over the city of York. Amen. God is releasing that. And there was a fulfillment of my dream because I witnessed that years ago where the water washed at night down in the... Let me tell you, there is an outpouring of the Holy Spirit that is coming. That's why the devil has been rearing his ugly head Amen. and he's been working and warring against it, but he will not bring out. Hallelujah. There is an outpouring and it's not just for this house. He said even though it's a small house, it's going to do a work that you would not believe and the water is going to rush into York and that's the Holy Ghost and there's a cleansing time to cleanse this city of its filth and to purge its streets and to Wash away all the filth and the things of hell. Amen. And if you live here in York, you know this is true. You know what York has been through. Mm -hmm. How to, York has been besieged by the enemy. Oh, but beloved, like a Habakkuk, he put someone here that not just to show us something, but to come and do something. There is an appointed time. God will allow the armies to assemble like in Jehoshaphat, but they're coming in and they're in trouble. They think they got the church in trouble, but they're in trouble. And God is going to thwart all their efforts and it's going to come to naught. And the blessing, listen, the blessing is coming to the church. Amen. Amen. The wealth of the wicked is laid up for the righteous. Amen. Remember when Israel got released from the chains of Egypt. That's right. They gave them gold and jewels. The wicked said, "Go and take this stuff with you." Glory to God. My beloved did not come out of her place of oppression without a possession. Do you hear me? My beloved did not come out of a place of oppression without a possession. Amen. Hallelujah. The wealth of that nation was laid up for the laid up for the righteous. Isn't that good stuff? Yeah. And let me tell you something, beloved. There is a turnaround that's going on in this place and in your life and for all that come in here. When they come in, there's going to be a turnaround. There's going to be a turnaround. There's going to be a turnaround. Hallelujah! In their lives. And you're going to sit there and you're going to watch it. And you're going to marvel at it. And you're going to laugh about it. Because you know it was told you before it came to pass. You go, oh, there's a turnaround. There's a turnaround. You're going to walk in that door and you're going to turn around. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right now, rise to your feet. In the name of Jesus and even where you are. I say you're coming to a new season, and I, in the name and the authority of Jesus Christ, I break every chain that has bound you. I say to you, beloved, throughout the earth and wherever you are now, your chains are broken this day. There are no chains on you, beloved. You are free, and whom the Son sets free is, is free indeed. indeed. Yes. Enter into this provision. If you have not reached to heaven that's reaching for you, the way has been made. Jesus said it. He's not the author of confusion and he cannot lie. Men lie. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one, no one comes to the Father except by me. Because I make you righteous. I make you holy. I can present you to my Father under my covenant of my blood. And all your sins were nailed to my cross. Just believe and look upon me. Look upon what I did on the cross, and you shall be free. Believe on the Lord, you and your household shall be saved. Name the name of the Lord over your life, and over your family, and over the places where you go to worship, and see God turn it around. I bless you. Receive Christ now, and find a good church home to get into, to grow in this newfound faith. I release it in Jesus' name. Give God a hand clap. Hallelujah.